how do I have a bad view when I'm this close to the artist? It's just, sometimes it just doesn't work out. Welcome back to my channel, I'm Carolyn. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a video that's been highly requested, so I thought I would do a part two to my tips and tricks for concerts. I already have a part one, which is how to get concert tickets in the first place. Basically, how to maneuver Ticketmaster and how to get tickets to really, really popular events that sell out very quickly. So if you want to go check that out, I'll leave the link in the description in case you're interested. This video, part two, is going to focus on if you already have tickets and they are for general admission basically meaning there are no seats it's first come first serve and a lot of you want to know how you can secure a really close view of the artist even barricade so as someone who has been to 20 concerts 20 that's crazy to me and like I have a ton of experience with seats floor, VIP, sound check. So I am going to give you the run through for how to secure a good spot and what you need to do and what you need to prioritize and what you need to keep in mind and my personal advice, which I will keep towards the end just so it doesn't sound super biased. So yeah, I think I wanna just get straight into this video. Let's do this. <laughs> First off, right off the bat, I kind of want to explain GA real quickly, what it stands for and what it is when you sign up to get tickets for that. GA stands for general admission. People also call it the floor. People sometimes call it the pit. They're all interchangeable, but basically that means there are no seats. When an event has GA only, there will be balcony options in case you don't want to stand and you'd rather sit. I've also done this before, but yeah, that's just a quick sum up of what to expect at venues that have GA. But honestly, GA can be bigger venues also. Sometimes like stadiums will have like pit areas where a select few can stand and be right next to the stage, which is pretty cool. So yeah, GA equals barricade, essentially. Barricade is the gate right in front of the stage. So that's what everyone wants. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna help you guys get. <laughs> Step one. Get there early. I know that sounds self-explanatory. Some people are like, what time do I get there at? What time do people line up? Because that's another thing, people line up. And the only answer I have for you is it's going to depend by artist. I have been to many that have lined up at different times. Honestly, it just varies. You need to know the fans, I guess. For example, back in like 2018 or something, Five Sauce had just come back with the comeback album and a lot of fans were anticipating it, but they were only performing at small venues. So it was all GA. And I think this was actually my first general admission concert. I don't think I was prepared at all, but my sister and I decided to get there at 5 p.m. That line wrapped around like 10 blocks. I'm not even kidding. It was so long. It was crazy. And it just kept getting longer and longer, obviously, because the venue didn't open until like 8, I think, something like that. And then I think we like hopped on Twitter and people were saying that they had camped out for this concert. So I think it just kind of depends on the fans because some fans are hardcore fans and honestly, you just never know. Another example, I went to a Bozzy concert. If you don't know who Bozzy is, it's like a pop artist, but not that big at least not when i saw him back in might have been 2018 again and my sister and i were like oh man like we learned from the five sauce concert we got to get there a little earlier so we ended up going at 2 p.m and we were already worried at that point because we we're like man there's probably so many people who camped out we get there there's like 10 people in line <laughs> so i think it just depends but for the sake of very big big artists you're going to need to camp out or some venues won't even let you line up until like the lines open which might be like 8 a.m 10 a.m noon it just depends so you can go early and the venues sometimes will hand out like wristbands and they'll be like come back like at three or something it just depends but for the most part if you want a solid answer i'd say swing by the venue in the morning and that way you can see if people are lining up you can keep and if you're like oh there's not anybody lining up you can swing back around at noon is there anyone lining up then you might even want to call your venue and ask what time you're allowed to line up or like where the lines can begin just be knowledgeable call around um you can even use twitter as a helpful guide because i'm sure a lot of fans have like talked about it in the past so yeah you're not gonna secure a good spot if you don't get there early 
Another thing you need to know if you want Barricade at a concert, you're gonna need to be aggressive. I will tell you right now, out of the 20 concerts I've been to, I have never, ever, ever once gotten Barricade. And you know why? It's because I'm not aggressive. I'm not aggressive at all. Getting Barricade is literally a mission. Like you need to be aggressive. You need to know what you want and just go for it. I'm not that person. I've always, always been the person behind the person in front of Barricade. Even when I had VIP and sound check, Oh, it makes me so frustrated. Again, it's not too horrible not touching Barricade. Sucks as a 5 too girly, but you know, what can I do? I actually found a video on TikTok which showed a very, very good representation of what the floor looks like when they release the people to get into the floor. I just thought it was like the most perfect accurate representation of how it goes but i'll show it right here in the beginning of the video you can see that there are already people standing in front of the stage these people are most likely the ones who had sound check and vip because they get first dibs on the floor on where they want to stand so uh, yeah you can see that basically the entire middle like front middle has already been taken and then you see that they open the doors for regular admission, the people who lined up but didn't have like VIP or sound check for early entry just rush in. And I think it's so funny because you'll see that a lot of people gravitate towards the middle. It's interesting because even though people want barricade, they still want a good view. So you'll notice that the sides of barricade are pretty empty until obviously the show begins and more people start flooding in. But yeah, that's pretty normal that the middle gets really filled up. That's pretty common. And and I agree with that concept, which is why whenever I did have VIP, I wouldn't go towards the barricade on the side, even though it was an option, because a lot of times the artist doesn't really focus on the sides. They try to, but not a lot of the time. So the middle is obviously the best view, and you might have like speakers in the way if you go to the side of the barricade, if that makes sense. I think it's so funny because even in the video, you can see that there are girls hanging out in the back, just sitting, not even caring about barricade, which is where I stand. Like that's my point of view. I think it is so much better to hang out in the back, but I will explain that at the end when I give my own advice about barricade. <laughs> it's so interesting because everyone like wants the best view, um, but you can never really like predict your view. Like honestly, people move around so much. People start squeezing into pockets and it's like sometimes you have a tall person in front of you. Sometimes you have a really good view. You have like a perfect just like view even though you're like towards the back, you know, it just kind of depends. Like I've said, I been like the second person behind barricade and i'll tell you sometimes i've had a bad view because there'll be a really tall person in front of me and i'm like how do i have a bad view when i'm this close to the artist it's just sometimes it just doesn't work out all right this is going to take me to tip number three i've already kind of touched base on it but if you can try getting vip or sound check because that is what is going to guarantee you barricade well not guarantee but you will have first dibs on your spa and it's such a good deal especially for small artist because honestly usually it's not even that expensive i swear i've had like vips that were like 50 bucks just for small artists if you can try getting vip try getting sound check it will help you get closer to the artist plus meet them which is pretty crazy tip number four something that can be very handy when you have floor tickets is making friends this goes such a long way i'm not even kidding be friendly make friends around you because honestly these girlies are the ones that can honestly help you get close to the front especially if like you're by yourself or just with one friend it can be nerve-wracking to be like dang like we really want to get closer but we're scared to like push our way through the crowd plus it makes the experience way more memorable and so much fun i don't know it goes a long way to be friendly plus like if you need to use the restroom these people are like the people around you so you can easily be like please save my spot you know or if you want merch just anything about getting out of the pit and having to come back um i do have to say that can be very risky Risky. like sometimes the people in the pit are not having it like once you're out you're out you're in the back like so it can depend but again this is where brands can play a big role they can like be like no they're with us like we save their spot up here you know so yeah i really really recommend that a lot of the times if you have vip or sound check they will let you get merch and all that stuff before everyone else is coming in so your like spot is pretty easy to save but once it's like a mass of people it is so hard to get back to your original spot so please keep that in mind if you want barricade come prepared if anything now i think 
am going to go into my own personal opinion about pit and barricade and waiting in line for those things just what everyone loves to do sometimes i prefer to be in the back of pit and let me explain basically i just have not had the best experiences being a 5-2 girly in pit i've already mentioned this but i'm not aggressive and sometimes people can be so aggressive and mean and that's just not the vibe i'm not there to be in a bad mood because someone pushed me out of the way to get a better view i like i wish i could emphasize how aggressive it is i'm not even kidding i remember for the five sauce concert overall it was good but it was so so pushy let me set the stage real quick so like i said kat and i had gone there at 5 p.m so that left us pretty much like in the middle of the pits we were not close to barricade at all there was definitely a lot of girls in front the concert had begun and oh my gosh the people went crazy like like i said we're like in the middle somehow we got pushed all the way to like like third behind barricade which was really close to like luke hemmings i like can probably insert a video of how close we were um which is super cool super super duper cool <laughs> that was like the first pit experience so i was like oh my gosh like they're right there you know but overall it was just so sweaty like ah like i like get claustrophobic so easily that's like another thing to keep in mind if you get claustrophobic trust me you're not gonna have a good time sometimes you focus on the audience way more than the concert which sucks because that's not what you want you want to enjoy the concert obviously my most recent concert the olivia rodrigo concert we had floor tickets and it kind of sucked because my sister and my friend were like at the front of the group and there were like super just intoxicated people in front of them it it sucked for them because they had to keep making sure this girl didn't fall on them and they couldn't like enjoy the concert which sucked you know like you don't want to go to a concert and not even be able to see the artist a really really good experience i've had on the floor was at the harry styles concert we had decided as like a group that we were going to just hang out in the back because at least in the back you could sing you could dance and you weren't focused on like barricade like get as close to harry as you can you know so that experience was just so fun because but also something about this venue the moda center in portland it was really cool because even though we got there like really late we got there before the show started and our view was still super duper good i literally had so many people commenting on my like stories and stuff of like oh my gosh you're so close to him and i'm like i'm at the back of the pit like <laughs> like sometimes just venues are designed to the point where it's like you're still close to the artist even though you're in pit but yeah like i feel like evolutionary wise i was not built to survive i'm just kidding i don't know <laughs> what i'm saying but literally in pit i will be dehydrated i'll feel dizzy like it's just never a good time for me so if you're just someone who gets anxious in big crowds if you're someone who can't stand standing for a very 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 long time i feel like i'm so finicky with like my environment so like when i'm placed in a very high stress environment it's just not a fun time so that's my opinion on pit and i feel like a lot of people might be able to relate so i'd always always keep that in mind but the only thing that keeps me going into pit is obviously the artist like i love concerts obviously so at the end of the day i hope you're able to have a good experience i just wanted to give my experience to you guys as well so you are prepared you know what to expect you don't go there thinking like i'm gonna get barricade at like 5 p.m because that's probably not the case at all yeah and if you really want to secure barricade look into vip look into sound check because those are the things that are gonna give you priority for getting your spot in the pit something else i recommend is looking into concert vlogs of that same tour because a lot of times people will vlog their experience camping out you can see like what time they got there how many people were like in front of them at the time they got there and you can kind of gauge off that but yeah it's it's a hit or miss but once you start doing it you're gonna be so good at it trust me <laughs> but yeah if you've never been to a concert and you're like i need to see them up close i understand it i honestly get the same way if i am seeing someone i haven't seen before so yeah i hope you learned 
a lot from this video. I hope you can take a lot from what I've said. If you have any other questions about getting barricade, about getting close, about just other general information, let me know down below in the comments. I'll try my best to answer the questions to the best of my ability. So yeah, I hope I didn't scare anyone off by saying I don't recommend it. That was not what I wanted to do. I just wanted to give you my general opinion coming from a very short, scared little girly who doesn't enjoy being in crowded spaces. But yeah, I hope this was helpful. Make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Click the bell to be notified when I post. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye!